things to remember. You must record the date the lab was done in your lab books. So always remember the date that you were given the lab and the date that the lab is done must be in your lab book. The other important point is that all the pages in your lab book must be numbered. Don't forget these. These are very, very important points. Now, make sure you know which skill is being assessed. And why you want to know which skill is being assessed, it is because for the ORR labs, uh, they would be written up a little differently than you would have a uh, planning and design. And I want you to check out my ORR video in the description below for more information on how the lab should be written in your lab book. Please remember, there are some guides to writing up each of these skills. you want to check out those videos. The procedure for all labs except planning and designing is written in past tense. Hence, you see the reason to know which skill is being assessed. Labs are labs except planning and designing, implementation and drawing usually take the following outline. So labs except planning and design, implementation, drawing, they usually take the following outline. And let's look at it. Now to report a lab, you are going to first you need to have your date, followed by your title, followed by the skill, aim apparatus material your procedure diagram observation discussion and conclusion now you might wonder why this is formatted like this or the color is here this color right colored writing here is just to remind you as to what uh, we would refer to as apparatus versus material however the indentation here is a reminder that when we write our procedure, we want to step away about a inch and a half or two inches away from the left margin and have an indentation there for the teacher's uh, report or your supervisor's report if you were in the real work world. Now, the diagram usually is not so much indented as these words, so the diagram could find itself in the middle of the page but for your procedure your observation discussion and conclusion they are going to be somewhat indented about two inches away from the left margin and to ensure that it is really really neat you could just use a pencil and a ruler to make a measurement and draw a very dull line when you're finished writing up right beside this line you are going to erase the line all right let's move on now the date, the date was the first thing we made mention of. Now this represents the date the lab was done. And we're assuming here that the date was the lab was done is actually the date that the lab was given. Alright, so we don't want to get a lab and be sit, um, sitting on it for days and then we get to a point where we don't even remember what we were asked to do or the date that the lab was given. So once you're given it and you're given your timeline, the deadline, that, that sort of a thing, make sure you follow the guidelines of your teacher. The title. Now this represents a topic from, this, from your syllabus that the lab captures. So for example, if you were testing for starch, then it would come directly from photosynthesis. So that type of thing, you want to say, what are you looking at? What topic are you looking at in your text now? What is it that we're studying now? Right? And then that would indicate where your lab, um, the direct relationship with your lab. And your teacher could help you with that if you're not sure. Skill. Now this represents the lab being tested what skill are we looking for testing under this particular topic it could be ORR MMPD implementation um, AI drawing you name it whichever one but you must know from your teacher what skill is being assessed 
then your aim what is it that you intend to find out what you want to find out and this usually begins with a two to determine to examine right usually your aim is what you intend to find out what is this research about at this level as your SBA CXC labs now the apparatus material is really really interesting really really interesting now there is a slight difference between apparatus versus material now apparatus are those things that are able to be reused in the lab such as your measuring cylinder graduated cylinder as it is called forcep metal boiling tube metal boiling tube all that that type of thing the list continues drop or so on and so forth these things will be used in another lab we are going to be cleaning them up and get them all ready for another lab but when it gets on to material these things are what we say um they won't be able to be used again in the lab once we use them we dispose of them for example if you look at reagent for example like iodine once it is used we are going to just throw, so throw it away so what we put on the leaf or what we use to stain that that cell that that, that we're looking at the organelles we are not going to be collecting that iodine again and once it's contaminated we use it we really don't use it again and the alcohol to, to some extent um, once used you know that we're going to immerse a leaf in the alcohol and then it's going to be disposed of the splint I, I mean the splint is like a matchstick so once it burns then we are going to be just it's just burnt I mean it can't be used again unless you have a little piece that you can re relight until it's all burnt out but usually we don't we usually have some water and once we use water in the lab uh we usually dispose of the water that was used i don't know that water is really considered uh really under the material stuff as such i mean you can give leave me a comment on that but definitely it is not the apparatus so it will be more um suitable to be placed in the material group as we are looking at material uh, as we are looking at chemicals Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today and reagent used in the lab and so we put the chemicals and the reagent under the material now important to note i have at the top here look at the screen i'm using my cursor numbers because number refer to those things that we can count so you want to say how many of these you are going to be using and over here i have number or amount and this is because we are not going to measure how, um, the number of water. It's the amount of water because that comes in vol volume. So we want to have an appreciation of that. Let's move on. Now your procedure or the method. Procedure or the method. This is what you uh, uh, did. If it's an ORR lab. And remember, you need to hop on over to my laboratory skills. Those video and they will explain this part of your lab real nicely all right a diagram your diagram usually falls right after your procedure or in front of the observation once you are going to be explaining things in your observation so diagram it shows this shows the setup of the lab and any key point in the lab that will be captured in your observation and for those persons who have ever seen a lab or done a lab on you for example uh, are you have ever seen for example the the diffusion lab with hydrochloric acid that that gaseous thing and ammonia um you would have an appreciation for key point where did we find this ring in the glass tube that type of thing and we're going to get there so you want to follow us with these labs we're going to be showing you all these labs and the labs are going to be real labs so we're not going to edit it so much we're going to try to see if we even can capture the time what a lab is like really you watch it and you get this real feel 
I mean, even sometimes you might be hearing some correction and so on. The real feel of what a lab is like. I'm not going to make it be uh, one of those edited mm, virtual lab type of thing. We're sort of running away from that. We want you to have a real feel of the lab. So you want to follow us, all right? Observation. What did you observe? And remember we spoke about in that observation video we did on lab with lab rules. We spoke about observation uh, pretty much being linked to your five senses. So in this particular lab that we'll be looking at, we want to look, uh, look at see and feel. Now from where you are, you won't be able to feel, but the presenter might tell you what the feel is like. But you'll be able to see. So you want to follow in this lab, looking at, look at what is happening. Make sure you take note of the colors, the color change, and probably change of state. Change of state. All right? solid change into liquid liquid change into gas that type of thing you want to make sure you make note of right probably the um the, the, the boiling scenario between the alcohol versus that of water that type of thing you want to make sure that you have a a, a good grasp of your scene you know what is happening and you're not relying on second hand information it is right in front of you and you're making the best use of it what happened to the leaf there are two leaves. What really happened? You really want to ensure that you're looking at the lab and you're capturing accurate information for your observation. Now, discussion. I like to say to my students, your discussion is your which, where, why, when, how, oh, and what. And these are explained. All right? Your which, where, why, when how and what and then we explain all these in the discussion to pretty much bring uh, uh, some value some understanding to what we actually observe uh, why we had to turn off the flame when we were putting the the, the boiling tube in the water bath why we had to put the, the boiling tube in the water bath what happened when, when we place the, the, the leaf in the alcohol? Why did this happen? Right? So you're going to be seeing all of that. Remember, your discussion is always your which, your where, your why, your when, your how, your what. And bear in mind, it is not all lab you will be able to capture all these six which where why when what that type of thing you won't be able to capture it in all labs but for some labs you might be able to capture all so just make sure you are doing the relevant thing and you don't try to stress yourself to say but i didn't get how or i didn't get why or i didn't get what make sure that there is actually a which where why when what and you could have this discussion with your teacher to see uh to figure out if there's something that you're missing in the lab and they no man you have not looked at the what let's let's deal with the what your teacher will nicely help you with that remember your teacher should always be a part of your guide to success all right even though you are watching my videos always always go back to your teachers always go back to your syllabus always ensure that you get a textbook that type of a thing to ensure that you are well prepared you are well rounded all right good let's move on conclusion conclude it means that we're pretty much at the end here or close to the end what it actually means for the lab however um is your final position and this final position is based on your aim what you intended to find out right now in some labs it may be any of the following it could be a word it could be a sentence or thereof it could actually be a number or numbers and it could even be of course a combination of now i have seen in many labs where students have written i have reached the point try to move away from personalizing the lab if you wanted to find out the number of persons moving through half a tree uh between nine o'clock and ten o'clock and it is fifty thousand the con conclusion is 50,000 persons passed through half a tree, 
during that time that's what you found out all right you don't need to write i have found out or whatever what are that don't personalize a lab all right try not to personalize your lab let's move on thanks for watching and if you found this helpful please remember to like share and subscribe and check out our other publications Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today.